Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to the Morocco vlog. We are in Fez in Morocco, we are in Ariad. Guys, this is vibes. This is aesthetic to the T. What are we saying guys? What are we saying? Guys, it's amazing. It's amazing. Look at the architecture man. I'm gonna give you guys a tour. We're gonna start the vlog with a tour, inshallah. But first, let's reintroduce everybody because it's been a while since we've seen a few faces. It's been about 10 months, put it this way, since we've last seen Ibi. The last vlog you were in was Marmaris. If you haven't watched the Marmaris vlog, over there. <laughs> All right, let's introduce the team. So, starting up, we have the all too familiar Nahyan. It's, it is Nahyan. He's just shaved his head off. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Yes, sir. So, moving up, we have the one and only Imtiaz. What is it? Yeah, from Broom. We're here. Yeah, we're here. In Morocco. And, and then we have Ibrahimoslav Mustafovic. We're here. We're back. We're back, baby. Back, baby. We're back, baby. Oh, guys, <laughs> guys, assalamu alaikum. So, we are in Fez. So, I decided. Was it, I, was it me who decided it? Was it us two? I think we both decided. I think we both Look at you, taking credit as always. <laughs> we both decided. Careful, the swimming pool. No, no, I'm trying to make it um, cinematic. We both decided that let's do a Ramadan retreat in Fez. But we can just, you know, take it easy. I thought Fez. So we're here, alhamdulillah, you know? We've got to speak it into existence. So alhamdulillah, we're here, guys. The purpose of this trip is to have just a bit of a downtime from the work that we do. For those of you that have been following me, obviously, we've been traveling loads. So now this is just a downtime. Imtiaz has been traveling loads. Nahyan works a lot. Ibi's been working a lot as well. So this is our little downtime. So alhamdulillah, we'll be showing you guys the whole journey throughout uh, our time here in Fez. For now, we need to get SIM cards. So. Uh, Let's get out of it, but before we do, let's do a little house talk. All right, guys, so as we enter the, the, the Riyadh, this is what we are welcomed with. We have like a full-on roof. Guys, chat to me, chat to me, guys. We have a little area here. This is our communal area. This is where we'll be discussing our plans for the time being here. We have the Tick Boy AB. This and the, is where we discuss. Who's Imtiaz, by the way? Uh, who's that guy, though? Who's that guy though? Who's that MTS? Mm, ticky boy, ticky boy. <laughs> Anyways. Let's use this to wash our asses. <laughs> Man said, teapot as a lotta. Anyways guys, this is the kitchen. Obviously, we don't cook, we don't, I'm joking. We might cook, we might clean, we might. We've got like a nice lemon here. But yeah guys, that's that. Now, here's the tricky part, yeah? Oh, I forgot to give, I forgot to show you the dining area. This is the dining area where we have our meetings. We, we have two meeting areas. Anyways, then the hardest part is the stairs, man. Having to go upstairs, I want to show you the stair aspect of it. Nahin, you there? Yeah, I'm here. So guys, as you can see, it's quite dark. I don't know how we're gonna do that at night, but I think the lights turn on, innit? But yeah, guys, so I'm not gonna show you their rooms because privacy and that, but we have the balcony view. So obviously, we were just downstairs there, as you guys can see. Very nice. This is another sort of area where you can pray. And this is a room, I'm assuming. But yeah, guys, let's start. I wanna show you my room. It's all the way up, man. I'm out of breath already. All right, guys, so this is my room. Got a greenish vibe going. A little ensuite. You can see those tile lights there. Tile windows, sorry. Which give it that churchy look. And yeah, guys, that's that. But, I gotta say, it does take a toll on you, man, you know? Me, I'm so unhealthy, wallahi. I am so unfit these days. But yeah, guys, this thobe from Mr. Thobe on Instagram. Very shiny, perfect for this kind of weather. Man, yeah, guys, this is the Riyadh. Now, we're just gonna head off to the streets. Hopefully, we don't get lost. And we're gonna try and find a SIM card because my Wi-Fi is very bad upstairs. I need data to, like, chat to clients and, you know, tell my mum I'm okay type thing. Um, so, let's head out to the streets. See you over there. Guys, I couldn't help myself. Look at that, yo, yo, serious or not? Come on, guys, we've got cats. Inshallah, Nahian will be 
Making El gato. El gato. will be making some his own. Alright guys, so the plan is to get some more SD cards. Sim cards. SD sim cards, my bad, my bad. Brain brain failure. It's okay. Brain failure. Lack of sleep. Lack of sleep. Assalamu alaikum guys. So in the market, the shoes here are fake. But there's some nice leather ones here as well. Some fake Jordans. Very fake. But yeah guys, we're just going through. We're trying to get a sim card first. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So yeah guys, we're just gonna head. This ISO thing's piss. We're just gonna go head over to get a sim. These are the streets, guys. Souks everywhere. This is another masjid. Yeah, guys. Like rugs and stuff. What are you saying, Ibi? Buy a prayer mat, bro. Huh? We didn't bring any prayer mats. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Basically, I think the leather stuff here is like the, the one. Bear leather. You can literally smell it. Yeah. Uh, you know when you find the one? Yeah. This leather is it. It's nice. Guys, you know what the maddest thing is, yeah? Each area that we pass has a different scent. Like, we've got the meat section where it smells like dead stuff. And then the fruit section and it smells like fruit. And the sweet section and it smells like sweets. Wait, 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 wait. The meat section smells like dead stuff? Yeah. No way! Yeah. Oh my god, I wouldn't have thought that. Uh, yeah, duh. Alhamdulillah, it's very like, you know. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Yeah, it's too bright, man. So yeah, guys. Um, every like area has a new scent. It's, it's really weird, but it's nice, you know. What are you saying, guys? Tired yet? No, we're good. Where's the SIM card place, man? I have no idea. Bro. Assalamu alaikum. I feel like I've been walking for time. It's hot as well, we're fasting, you know? But yeah, I guess. Alright guys, so we've got the sims, alhamdulillah. I got about 10 gig, just to last a week, because I don't got Wi-Fi in my room, man. And then we got our currencies exchanged. I think for iftar, we're gonna go to a restaurant that the guy recommended. Apparently it's the first day, the opening, 20% off. I don't mind, I guess. It's um, the first day? So we're literally yeah. taste testing the food. Something like that. Ramadan, Akhi. Ramadan. We're fasting, yeah. <laughs> Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes, man. Yeah, well, guys, we're just gonna wait on the way back to the Airbnb now, and we're gonna um, sleep, man. Yo, man needs that rest, man. So, see you guys there. Hi, right, guys. We're back in the. What do we call this? We're back in the house. We're back in the place. We're back in the. Oh. Uh, back in our Riyadh. Gonna get some sleep. Wake up like a couple of hours before iftar, and because yo, I'm, I don't look it, but I'm. I'm tired, bruv, so... If you make sure you're not here. Yeah. alaikum, guys. <laughs> I was told to do that. Guys, I'm alert, I'm awake. Yo. <clears throat> you did that. Mm, guys, we've woken up, alhamdulillah. We're just gonna pray Asr and then we're gonna plan some stuff, do some ibadah, and then we're gonna head over to the restaurant for some iftar, inshallah. Can you, guys, can you guys hear like the kids outside and all that? No. I'm still in love with this, like I, I just think it's mad. <laughs> SubhanAllah. But yeah guys, let's just uh, pray Asr and keep it going. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So this is Bilal radiallahu anhu's story about the Prophet. So just some context, Bilal radiallahu anhu was the first Mu'addin of Islam. Bilal, his background is Abyssinian and he was a slave. He was one of the first people to convert Islam and he disobeyed his master. So his master told him to worship gods. He said, Ahad, one god. And uh, when he was found out about this, he, he was whipped. And you've probably heard the story of Bilal anhu lying in the baking sun with a rock on his chest. That's how they tortured him and they whipped him. And all he said was, Ahad, Ahad, one Allah, one Allah, one Allah. And for that, like his reward in Jannah is crazy. Um, so he's a very respected Sahaba. He's a very well-known Sahaba for the sacrifice he did. So someone inquired of Bilal radiallahu anhu how the Prophet sallallahu met his expenses. He replied, and he never kept anything for future use. I arranged money for him whenever a needy person, whether hungry or naked, came to him, who would make him over to me and I would then arrange for his needs by borrowing money from somebody. This is what usually happened. Once a mushrik said to me, look here, I have a lot of money to spare. Don't borrow money from anybody else. Whenever you need it, come straight to me. I exclaimed, this is indeed fine. I began to borrow money from him to meet the needs of the Prophet One day after I had taken my wudu and was about to call the adhan, the same mushrik accompanied by some people came and shouted, oh, n-word, when I attended to him and he began to abuse me using filthy language and said, how many days are left of this month? I said, it is about to finish. He said most insolently, look here, there are only four days left of this month. If you fail to clear up your debt, by the end of the month, I shall take you as my slave for my money and then you will be grazing sheep as you have been doing before because he was a slave before. After saying this, he went away. I remained melancholy 
and full of grief throughout the day. After Isha, when the Prophet was alone, I went and narrated the story to him saying, O Prophet of Allah, you have nothing with you, nor can I arrange any money from somewhere so quickly. I am afraid the mushrik will disgrace me. I therefore intend to keep away for such a time as you get sufficient money to clear the debts. I went home, took my sword, shield and shoes and waited for the morning to make way for some other place. Just before dawn, somebody came to me and said, hurry up, the Prophet wants you. I hurried to the masjid and found four loaded camels sitting near the Prophet. He said, good news Bilal, Allah has made arrangements for clearing your debts. Take these camels with their load. The chief of Fidaq has sent them as a gift to me. I thanked Allah and took the camels and cleared up all the debts. In the meantime, the Prophet ﷺ kept sitting in the masjid. When I returned, I said, Alhamdulillah, all the debts are now clear. O Prophet of Allah, he inquired, is there anything left from the gift? I said, yes, something is still left, he said. Go and spend that as well. I shall not go home until the whole lot is spent. The Prophet kept sitting, kept sitting in the masjid all day long. After Isha, he inquired again if anything had been sent. I said, something is still left and spent. A few of the poor had not turned up so far. He slept in the masjid that night. The next day, after Isha, they again called me and said, Bilal, is everything finished now? I said, yes, Allah has blessed you with peace. Everything has now been spent and gone. The Prophet ﷺ began to hint at the glory of Allah over this news for he did not like death to overtake him while any of the riches were in his possession. He then went home and met his family. It is common with pious people that they do not like to keep any wealth with them. How could the Prophet ﷺ, being the fountainhead of all piety, like to keep anything in his possession? For the Prophet ﷺ, he never kept any like money. Like if he had money, he would just give it to the poor or like give it to get clothes or spend it on food. Or just very simple simple man now obviously i don't know how that applies into this society because we need money for like bills that are coming out or whatnot but i think the key here is money equals problems just as the mushrik was like take my money take my money take my money and then money became his turning point to turn bilal back into a slave money was a big problem and it, ca it, is, it can be a problem if you have too much of it so by spending your money in the right things keeping yourself minimal keeping yourself simple and it goes back to like everything minimalism is the epitome of iman you know minimalism is a vibe it's an aesthetic it's a this it's a that but it's actually part of being Muslim is to be simple, not to be extravagant. With your money, be simple. Only buy what you need, spend what you need. And if you can give Fisabilillah for the sake of Allah, for the poor, for the needy, for those who need it, then give. If you look at the, the, the model of the Prophet's house, bro, it's just a tent mm. with a fireplace and a bed made of straw. That's it. And he is known as he's the most famous person to date. So I think the story, the moral of the story is money is a problem, too much of it is a problem, and spend on good. Alright, guys, so our first iftar in Fez. We got some dates and some water. That's it. For now, we're gonna do Maghrib and then we're gonna head over to the restaurant. Let's go. Weird model thing is everywhere. Like Alright, guys, so we're just gonna head over to the restaurant, uh, have some iftar, proper iftar, and then uh, we will uh, head over to, we'll head back, go to Rabi, and then uh, call it a night, inshallah. But we'll keep you guys in the loop. You guys ready for some good food, yeah? We'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Alright, guys, in a bit. Take photo of it, it goes fully short. Yes, uh, we're gonna take some uh, photos later and uh, some animation will come here. Yeah? Yes, man. MashaAllah. So we're the first customers ever. <laughs> That's ironic. Papa Ramadan, like food in it. Hot soup. It's okay. Zakallah khair. You guys think we're gonna do it? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yes, sir. We're eating, yeah? Yes, sir. You guys try it. You enjoying the fruit, yeah? Is it the best part of the meal? Go and enjoy it as much as you because you're fruity. <laughs> whoa, whoa, fill Ramadan, fill Ramadan. What? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar Rahman Ar Rahim Malik Yawm Al Din. Iya Kan Abudu Wa Iya Kan Istaeen. Ihdin Al Sirat Al Mustaqim Al Sirat Al Nadin An Amt Alayhim. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين Alright guys, what's the plan? We're gonna head out yeah. See what the knife light is saying You know what? The I'm knife saying? light? The halal knife light Night life As <laughs> <laughs> a knife light This guy's finished in it We're gonna have fun In a halal way Of course, for Hopefully. Ramadan We're basically just gonna have tea or coffee Inshallah or dessert You'd be ready bro Come on bro, bismillah Let's wrestle, let's wrestle. Ibi and you. Ooh, Ibi and Nahyan. Come on, Sunnah, bro. Come on. Come on, Sunnah, come on. My bet's on Ibi. My bet's on Nahyan. Yeah, go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Careful with the swimming pool, yeah? Yeah. Please, I don't want no injuries, man. Oh. I'd say the odds are pretty even. 
Wait, wait, what? What just happened? So technically, technically, if you won. We both fell, but round two, come on. Okay. Oh, well, round two. <laughs> Bismillah. Oh, I got it. Wait, who's down? I don't know. Oh, oh that's it, even. That's it. Tomorrow we do the third. Tomorrow we do the third round, inshallah. Come Should on, guys. The suspense. <laughs> <laughs> Come, let's go, let's go. Anyway, guys, uh, we are gonna head off to get some, just something sweet to Ooh, have, inshallah. Um, so, so yeah. the only thing that's. <laughs> restart, uh, restart, all right. restart. No, no, it's all right. It's just well, keeping it. Yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, we'll see you in a bit, inshallah. Yeah. Guys, if you're ever coming Fez here, yeah, just be very careful. Like, don't follow nobody because they will just take you to some random... They'll say, yeah, I'm taking you here, I'm taking you there, I'm taking you here, I'm taking you there. And they won't take you where you want to go. And then they'll ask for money. And then they'll, they'll call you Jewish if you don't give them money. <laughs> yeah. Man call us Jews, man. You went like this. He's, sp spot he's on spotting us. like on the street, like what the hell? Uh, we didn't ask for you to help us, you helped us. And then, oh, you're Muslim, you're Muslim, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you. Why'd you ask for money then, you know? Then he had the audacity to call us Jewish, black-hearted people. <laughs> so I just told him, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammad an abduhu rasulullah. Because that's what we believe. In it, guys. You tired? We're gonna go to the rooftop instead and have some Coca-Cola. <laughs> that's that's the vibe. That's gonna have you guessing the water. Nah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You know, I always vlog from a low angle. How's that? What's going on, guys? So, um, everyone's sort of gone to sleep. I'm staying awake because I need to catch up on my Quran. I need to memorize some Quran as well. In terms of first day, right? I think the highlight is the Riyadh. Like, the place that we're staying at, Alhamdulillah, is very nice, very beautiful. Exceeds my expectations. But, like, the city of Fez is very busy. It's very hustle bustle type place. And at night, for those of you thinking of coming, just be careful because there's gonna be a lot of people that will try and take you to the side roads. In, in Fez, there's two main roads. You do not need to leave these main roads because everything is on these main roads or main streets. The moment someone tries really hard to take you to the side, don't do it, don't go, because they're gonna give you a tour and they're gonna expect money from you or they're gonna take you somewhere where you don't really wanna go. Like we almost, we got into like a bit of an altercation with a guy who's taking us nowhere. And then when we said allow it, like yo, he's taking us nowhere. He came back, he wanted money. And then we didn't give him money obviously because we didn't ask him to take us anywhere. I wouldn't say he got physical, but he pushed, he pushed my hand. It's Ramallah, Alhamdulillah, we're calm, whatever. But then he calls me a Jew and then he calls me non-Muslim and black-hearted. As I mentioned earlier, nothing against Jews, by the way, you know, we're all part of one society. But like, calling me something I'm not, it's very like, disrespectful. And then spitting on a street in front of us, disrespectful. So you're going to encounter people like this, right, who have a false sense of expectation. Um, so just be careful of that, basically. And don't get yourself involved in any altercations, because it's not your home ground, as we say. And, um, the plan tomorrow is to, we've actually got a, a job to do here as well, for a Thobe company, where they wanted me to model a Thobe for them, get some content for them. So tomorrow we're gonna sort of put a focus on that, inshallah, and uh, just get some content shot for the brand. Obviously you guys will be there behind the scenes, I'm gonna show you guys the footage anyway as well. And uh, yeah, inshallah, that's the plan tomorrow. We're gonna go a bit of sightseeing, see where we can do these shots. Yeah, that's the plan tomorrow. I'm just gonna sit down, have a bit of me time right now, pray my Quran, and uh, take it from there. So uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm tired, but you know, see you tomorrow. All right, guys, it's currently Fajr time. What did you have for Zahir, by the way? I had a lovely meal of dates and water. Dates and water, <laughs> what about you, mate? Did you have your leftovers from the restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, same. Decent. What did you eat? Guys, we don't have a microwave, so like, it was cold, man. I had the same thing I had in the restaurant, a couple of spoons of that. Then I just had two kajuts and some water, and I'm good to go, I hope. We'll find that in a few hours. Oh, I, had a, I had a glass of Coke. Yeah, I had a glass of Coke. Wallahi, you know me and Coca-Cola. I didn't have it. Um, we're gonna pray Fajr, then we're gonna go sleep, then you're gonna wake up and it's a new day.